Hello, I'm John Joe, and welcome to Line War. We have Prochilis today, starting right here, and Safwan RD starting pretty close over in this direction. Safwan's deciding to sort out his uh, eco first. He's trying to sort out some structures being built straight away, and Prochilis started to sort out his units first. Pro is going for a heavy expanse. He's definitely building a lot of barracks here. There's five. And then uh, one factory, just adding that extra armor, I would have thought. He's not too worried about building up eco with towns and stuff just yet, whereas Safwan is, and I think on this map, being with such a large landmass, the territory gain is going to be much more valuable than building up these industries and town. So I do think that Pro will have the advantage with the way he started, but Safwan has gone for barracks first as well. And we'll just have to see how they play this. Safwan's going to cur curve around this area. So he's going to take over the territories this way. And he's going to be safe in one direction. But that means if Pro does cut him off, he'll also have less eco to rely on. So he's going to end up needing that town industries in that situation. So we'll have to see how this plays out. Currently, Pro is expanding quite heavily across the board. And Safwan is going to just focus on up and down. So I don't know if they're actually going to spot each other straight away. Because Pro's about here, I think. Yeah, there's that extended one there. Over here. So they might actually see each other pretty soon. But it might be a while until they do anything. Because Pro is coming here. And he's expanding down this way. And he's actually really going into eco. He's getting the city up right at the beginning of the game. That will easily pay for itself. But it is actually still a risk. Because instead of paying that 500, you could have two more barracks set up, taking over these territories earlier on as well. So there is two sides of the coin. Over here, it doesn't look like Pro's done much else. At this point, it is just expanding. So I am just going to speed up the process a little bit until they sort of spot each other. There is a Sam on the ground. He's gone for anti-air first, to be fair. Well, an artillery and anti-air. From the opponent's side, Safwan is still expanding. He's going straight for Pro's base. He has spotted Pro over here, really close to him, which might make him nervous considering how heavily invested he's gone into Eco, and it's not even set up yet. But he's building another barracks, and he's going to send this group of units through the forest that way, which is going to be good because it's stealthed, and Pro might not actually spot this. In fact, he still can't even see Safwan yet. Only just now can he notice it. If he's paying attention. And unfortunately for Pro, he is sending a lot of his units this way to expand. Rather than being on the front line, so... Pro might end up actually being caught out a little bit here. Obviously he can redirect his units once he spots this as he's playing. But I think he just thought the chances are the enemy's going to be this way. You know, statistically there's a lot of land that way both players to start close together there we go pro has spotted this he's taken away these lines here he's obviously thinking about what he's got to do and what has Safwan got Safwan's got quite a large group of infantry going straight for this area I think he's going to take out this structure I am going to slow it back down that back to normal speed There we go, Pro has changed up his game. He's not bringing back any units that are already expanding. Personally, I'd bring back the artillery and the SAM units this way and leave the infantry to expand if I could remember to do that. I think that's actually what he's going to do. Bring him back some units, particularly the armor. So he is kind of doing that, so that's quite good. And he's going to leave a lot of his units to expand, which is definitely something you need to do. Never forget to expand in this game. There we go. So those units did manage to take out that structure and Pro wasn't even willing to defend it. He knew he was going to lose it and he has retreated to this line to set up a larger group of units. He'd rather save those two units than let them die defending something Pro probably can't keep. Especially with the forest there, he doesn't know what the enemy actually has in this area. Unfortunately for Safwan, he hasn't got the same thing in mind. He has sent three units up ahead because they got caught a bit beyond the territory grabbing. And they are going to get taken out pretty quickly without any backup because these guys are still capturing territories. 
but Saffron does need to put up a strong defense and keep scouting away because if Bro realizes that he's gone for a city, Bro might need to be a bit faster on the attacks. There you go. Pro can spot a structure over here being built, which he might end up trying to target. Whereas Safwan is still going to focus most of his units that way, and he's going to send in some at the side. And now that Pro's units have started to build up in numbers, they are starting to potentially match Safwan already. And although Safwan has the economy for coming back on this, Pro already has his base set up, ready to start produce, well, continue producing. So this is going to be a territory versus eco type of game. And it looks like the eco player is not winning the frontline battles at the minute, but he does have more units coming in. Safwan's in a bit of an issue, got a bit of an issue right now because he is getting trapped. Pro's units are coming down. He does have the opportunity to go round. If he focuses on attacking and Pro manages to trap him in, that's going to be a problem. But if he doesn't break through these attacks as well. He is going to struggle to get out on top on this. Over here, Pro is actually expanding quite a large portion of the map. The backing up units have come through and they are possibly going to get through this. Over here though, there are, are quite a bit more artillery. Pro is going for a couple extra factories now. He's going to increase his production of artillery, and I don't know what Saffron's planning to do yet. Is he switching? He does have some armor or factory uh, being built, too. One on either side of these flanks. And he's bringing his units in. He's found the structures, and he's going to try and head straight for those. I don't know if he's going to break through just yet, but he does have a fairly good economy. So we're at 10 minutes now. Let's have a look. There's 900 for Safwan in Eco. But Pro is at 700, and he's able to keep expanding his economy, whereas Safwan is pretty much... He's not stuck. He can still expand. He's still got these units expanding. But that isn't that many units still expanding, whereas Pro has tons of units expanding. Let's have a quick look. I won't stay there too long. We've got all of this army sweeping through those lands. Eventually, Pro's eco will probably outmatch Safwan's later on. If Safwan doesn't keep expanding this way here, because he is getting some territories going this way. So these units, eventually, they're going to change their lines. So he's got arrow commands here. So these guys are capturing territories up to here, but when they hit this line and this territory gets captured, these are going to just rush for these structures. The artillery is coming through now, and that's going to really help Safwan at this point. Being able to have the front lines controlled with infantry and having the artillery shoot over them. But both players are pretty much going for the same unit composition, except for Pro has invested a bit in SAM units, which Safwan can see, so he might not switch into air units. And I've just noticed Safwan is increasing his eco through another city that's up there that I didn't spot earlier. But I think Safwan has got a good eco potential focusing on these towns and industries for a while, but it, they are also quite costly, whereas Pro doesn't need to spend any money on his expanse. He can just keep spending money on those production structures. And he's got quite a good circle here of unit uh, production here. And he is just focused in one area, which might not be a good idea. He might need to have spread that out a little. Because if the enemy does get through here, they're going to get a lot of damage done really quickly. Whereas he had the land to spread it out, just like some up here, some down here, and a few more in the southern part. It is pro catching up. How much is his eco at now? It's 800 now. But Safwan is ecoing up, and he's got 1,000 through these industries that are being built over here. That town's going to be built soon, so that's going to increase his eco. And this is going to be like a push and throw version, I think, where it's going to be a lot to do with the eco they gain. He's got another town being produced here. And I think it's just going to be who can outproduce the other and keep their eco going. Because if someone keeps their production up but then fails with their eco, 
production's going to stop and the enemy's going to get through. And Safwan is getting dangerously close to these structures because when one site's going down, more and more will follow because they're all grouped together. On the bright side, Safwan hasn't done that. He's got some up here and down here and a barracks there. Two barracks over here and they're producing commandos, which I do like to see. They're going to try and go into the back. It looks like Safwan thinks he's got industries set up, so he's going to try and sneak around and take those out, but I'm pretty sure Pro hasn't done that. No, he hasn't. And these commandos are going to get through that fog of war quite nicely. They could come through the back and take out structures that way. So Pro's units are being pushed back even further. Because they're grouped together, it does make it a bit easier to get the reinforcements into there. And as both lines push each other back, they do end up getting supported by each group at the same time. How far is Pro expanding? He's pretty much done, and he's also really covered the map, so he hasn't got to focus on that anymore at all whatsoever. But it looks like Safwan is building up a significant artillery army. They aren't going down faster than they're being reinforced, and his artillery is building up. But same is really being said for Pro. Especially here, he's got a lot more artillery than Safwan does down here. And it's the infantry that are coming through that are actually being sort of like meat shields for these infantry uh, for these artillery down here, but it's just not quite enough. It looks like Pro is winning in this section, mostly through factory production. Pro is now going to switch into air. We have an airfield now. Whereas Safwan is carrying on doing the same thing, but that's partly because it's working. He is doing his commando thing, and they are going to sneak around. They've spotted the airfield, so that's not really going to come as a surprise for Safwan now. He might end up starting to produce some units from spotting that. I don't think he's switching out yet. But those commandos are scouting. They're not going to go anywhere. They're just they're not going to destroy anything. I was Safwan with these units. I'd probably build up some more, and then spread them out to attack here and then here. Uh, which is what he's doing. That's alright then. I thought he was just going to walk past all of this opportunity. There we go. This is turning into more of an artillery battle. So they are switching from infantry to artillery. But that's mostly because the infantry are being killed by the artillery. And we have a nuke silo. That's what he's going to switch into. So he kind of is going into air units. Just not the standard ones. There we go. He's got his city being built here so he's got the industry up the town's up and he's going for a city straight away and i can i can imagine this is going to be his next location for that especially if he feels confident he's got the control here which he might have felt a minute ago but right now i don't think he does and pro can see these commanders now there's a lot of units in there at this area and their accumulative vision is what is detecting these commandos now pro's got to be on the ball here because those commandos can do a lot of damage, which means he's got three fronts to focus on. And if they run away, they'll still be around and they'll have to worry about them the whole game. But it does... I feel like down here, Pro is building up enough of an army, but this commando distraction has sent his units or his reinforcements in a different direction, and now they're getting weaker in this area. And up here, and his artillery are outproducing these ones. Right, let's have another look at the eco standing, which Pro has 1,000, so he caught up with Safwan, but Safwan's now at 1,200, so Safwan seems to be 200 above Pro at almost any point in this game. I think Pro managed to handle those commandos pretty well, considering they came in and striked that airfield pretty quickly, he was able to handle it quickly in itself. So building in a group might actually be a better idea, because if I'd spread them out, those commandos would have more opportunities. Maybe I'm wrong. He does control the front line here, he does seem to have more units, and he is pushing back a little bit more. Though, grouping them together might have been the better option. But I take back what I said earlier. <laughs> I think he's starting to realise that there isn't much going on down that way, and that Pro is mostly focused on expanding through territory grabbing, which... Getting close to the end now, he won't be able to do that forever. 
The pro is dedicated to getting an airfield up and running as soon as possible. He's got that one going. He's trying to get some units to go off this way. Safwan is. He's got his commanders coming this way. But they are missing this target there. Over here, it looks like Pro is building a nice concave, but so is Safwan. They're both concaving against each other. So we have two sitters up and running from Safwan now. Is he still... Yeah, that has increased his eco by quite a bit. And that rocket's being built now as well. That's just something I want to point out. It's nearly... About 25% of the way done, I think. And he doesn't seem to be doing anything sneaky around. There is a town being built up here. So he is still trying to increase his eco through towns. But I feel like Pro's units on this front line here are building up in sufficient numbers right now. But I don't think he's going to do it fast enough before this rocket's built. I think these units are going to build up enough. They're going to push back in either direction. This rocket is going to stop him early on in his game. But eventually someone's going to have to fall. And the commandos are back in. They're going to distract him. Which might just give Safwan the ability to push back once again. But I think either Pro is going to spread out two groups of units and that rocket won't be effective enough to hit both. So he's going to hit one and then Pro is going to end up sweeping Safwan. Or the rocket, Safwan's going to keep Pro's units here and the rocket's going to destroy the majority of them and then Safwan can sweep Pro. And those commanders are doing a great job at distracting. He's going straight for the factory, not the barracks, because the factory is what's given the artillery shooting over the infantry. But now Pro has helicopters as well. Got one on the field. He didn't mind letting one go straight away because he doesn't need to hide it. Because commandos have spotted the airfields and Safwan already knows he doesn't need to build up large numbers. And surprise the enemy because there is no anti-air on the field right now. Which is a bad thing from Safwan, especially when he saw the airfields being built. That's going to really put him on a disadvantage against these airfields. He does need a couple of SAM units, at least somewhere, to try and at least deter them. But instead now he's got this line coming here where the commander's going to build up in numbers and he's got these commanders coming back. And he is being sneaky. Doing what Balafor does and hiding in the back of the base and bringing some units in the back. So he's got those commanders coming through. They are going to take out some of this production. And these tiny little hits every now and then where the commander's actually succeeding at taking out production, that is going to change the tide of the battle as well. Because as far as I can tell, Safwan hasn't lost any production structures, so all his money is still on the battlefield. Whereas Safwan, uh, whereas Pro Shalist hasn't lost that money. Uh, has lost the money through them being destroyed slightly. That rocket is now being sent off. It looks like it's going straight for the center to do damage to both sides of this. Or is he going for the production? He is going straight into that production there. He's going to take out three structures there, nearly the airfield as well. These commandos are coming in at this point as well. But the helicopter has spotted them, and he's going to get shot down with the helicopter, but I just don't know if that's going to be enough. Not from one helicopter. Let's have a look how Pro is doing with this right now. <clears throat> So he's sending his units that way a bit, but they're only reinforcements. I'm not sure there's enough infantry here to take them out. But if they do end up focused on structures, they will probably be able to take them out eventually. I'm not sure that rocket was effective enough. These units on the front line are going to be pushing forward, but Safran does have the advantage in the long run. And I think he can hold out enough for that long run, because he's already got another rocket being built. And it won't be long until Pro can't handle this amount of harassment and will eventually give in. Even if he doesn't want to. <laughs> there you go, another structure's going down from Pro. This one's about to go down. There's an airfield once again about to go down. And Safwan is creeping his base around the sides. Increasing the amount of area that Pro has to defend from. 
and even these areas here are slowly getting weaker as they push forward into the base, but they're just not quite getting through there. Let's have a look what Pro can see. Pro can't really see too much going on. He can see the city through the fog of war because they have like anti stuff on them. You can see them further away. And these commandos seeming to be hard for Pro to actually deal with. And ha Pro's having to call his units back over here and push through there. And also another thing, he's trying to go into the air units. I have just noticed he got negative energy production. He doesn't have any energy to uh, produce for these units. But he could build some energy wells over here. And it looks like he's got his units coming back now. So he does have some backup coming in. But he's got to leave these guys going because he still hasn't managed to capture the entire island. Either way, my prediction with that rocket was wrong. It wasn't going to be the end of the game from one rocket. I do think if he had tried to hit the units instead, his, his main army might have got in there and tried to, well, maybe got more damage in and taken out more of the structures. But that's personal preference, because now it's done long-term damage if he couldn't anyway. Kind of risky. Either way, Pro's main army was here, or one of his main armies was there, pushing through, and it's falling down now. And Xlafwan does have extra units coming in, creating more fronts for Pro to deal with once again. Over here, though, Xlafwan is doing his best to defend this little section of the map. He can't defend it forever, especially with reinforcements coming in from that way, that he doesn't know about. But eventually, it will go down, but it's being a distraction for Pro in the long run. what is Pro's eco right now? So Pro is at 1,300 while Slafwan is at 1,600. So Slafwan's managed to keep his economy up really well compared to someone capturing territories which statistically or you know mathematically should be more effective. His commanders are coming in through the back again. Because these industries, they they create 12 per minute, I believe, and territories are about the same, if I remember correctly. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure one territory is the same as an industry. And most players usually go for the territory first, and when there's no territory left to grab, that's when they start going onto the eco. The rocket is once again being fired. What's he going to target this time? I'd definitely suggest this area right now, because there isn't many units on the battlefield and you definitely have control over it. But his commandos are in there, so maybe he's going to shoot it here. Right in the center on that, yep. Saffron can pretty much see the entire base anyway, so he can choose his target wherever he wants. I'm surprised it didn't destroy some of these ones down here, but they are heavily damaged and there's units there already to try and snipe those structures. And the main force is coming through the top part of the map. And these artillery are pretty much the last defense of Safwan and the army is going behind it. The problem with artillery, they can't really be recalled to defend new areas because they have to deploy and undeploy. The helicopter coming in. I am surprised how Safwan just got through without any SAM units and just plowed through that helicopter. He did not care that there was a helicopter on the field whatsoever, but then, you know, I've done it before with infantry rushes. It's just about managing to outpace the helicopters destroying. I think Safwan has managed to keep control over this match really well. Especially with his eco, and I didn't think he'd be able to try and use his eco advantage. I mean, he did have a lot of uh, places to build eco, but I didn't think he'd be able to keep up with Pro when he had a lot of territory on his side. Pro is not out of this game yet. He is really trying to not give in. He's still producing structures behind this line. He's just moving back and retreating. Over in this section, his reinforcements are coming in, but it looks like Safwan is able to defend it.
and Safwan is pushing forward with his structures. He's placing some more down on the front lines now. Trying to increase his pressure on Prochilis to make him give up. And at this point, I'm pretty sure Safwan's going to win this game. But I think Prochilis did everything relatively right. I can't see anything that he did wrong. Probably wouldn't have grouped the structures up, but then I think that would have been a mistake from my part. Another structure's going down, the commander's coming back in to take out the airfield. But it turns out that Eco, even on a map heavy on land, definitely a good idea. It just depends on how you play it. But I generally thought that the territory would be much more of an advantage. The artillery are pushing through like an arrow. This is an opposite to a concave. I don't normally like this, but it's kind of stylish, especially with the arrow command he's got coming in through here. Oh, it looks like Safwan's little mini base over here is going to get taken out. Which is unfortunate, he was doing so well there, but he this is the end of the match now, so I'm pretty sure Pro has given up, and Safwan has won that. Let me know what you think of this battle, and what you think about the eco play of this game. And there are two videos on screen right now, so if you want to watch any more, feel free, and I'll be in one of those videos. I'll see you there.